Hi everybody, this is Nate, and today we are going to be talking about screencasting uh, using QuickTime Player. So this is built into your MacBook Pro, and uh, it's a really easy way that you can capture your screen, make little videos like I'm doing right here. Now there are a number of reasons you might want to make a screencast. Uh, for example, you might want to do some step-by-step -step instructions on how to navigate your Moodle site, or how to enroll in your course, or or maybe how to make use of an online resource like the uh, CIA World Factbook here that I use sometimes in social studies classes. Uh, so that that's one option. Another option is for uh, making videos of direct instruction, kind of mini lectures in a way. Uh, you know, you can navigate your way through a PowerPoint um, or a Google Slides presentation and um, do some direct instruction. Maybe make an online version, a video version of what you would normally do in class. Perhaps uh, if you're wanting to flip the classroom or perhaps uh, just to have an option for kids who missed school that day and want to get caught up on what they missed in class on a lesson. So those are some of the reasons you might want to do this. Now let's talk about how you actually would make a screencast using QuickTime Player. In the Mac operating system, I usually use command space to uh, do spotlight search, and I just type in Q, and there it is, QuickTime Player, and I hit enter. Um, you can go to the launcher too down here, and you can find it in the launcher. But that's the way I do it. Now the thing about QuickTime Player is it looks like it's not open here, but it is right here. Okay, I clicked on it, and now the only indication I have that it's open, that I am in QuickTime Player, is that you see QuickTime Player right up here. That's the only indication. So it's not like a big uh, window or anything like that that opens, it's just right here. And now what I can do is I can make a movie recording, which would do my webcam by default. Um, I can do an audio recording if I just want to record audio. And a screen recording. And for screencasting, you're going to want a screen recording. So we click on that new screen recording and we want to make sure that we have the correct microphone here I'm going to do C media but you maybe do built-in or if you have an external microphone uh, whatever you want to do but for me it's C media and um, I'm just gonna hit record I can click to record the full screen or maybe I want to just record uh, one specific part so uh, for example if I'm in a Google Slides presentation I could potentially stay in this view and just drag to record my slide here. For me, I'm just going to record my full screen, and then I'm going to go full screen on my Google Slides presentation. So I click the full screen, and it is now recording, and I can tell that because there's this button up here, that little round thing. So I go over here, I'm going to hit present to go full screen, and we begin. And so now I can go through and talk about each of these slides. This is the home front of World War II, and uh, I can just go through and um, do some direct instruction, um, what I would normally do in class. All right, so that's uh, pretty easy. When I'm done, I go up here and I just hit that little round button again to stop recording. And now, here is my recording. And you can see, I can skip around a little bit and you can actually see the video. And um, yeah, that's how you make it. Now, just to close it out, we want to make sure we save, file, save, and you can save it wherever you want and name it whatever you want. And there you've got a video ready to upload to YouTube, to Google Drive, to your Moodle site, or you can pull the clip into iMovie for a little bit of editing. All right, if you have any questions about this, feel free to let your friendly tech coach know. And uh, the next one, we're going to be talking about how you can also get uh, your webcam feed so that uh, you can have a video of your screen and you talking, which can be a little more engaging for your students using Open Broadcaster. So stay tuned for that one.